Hey guys, um, did no workout yesterday, um, did nothing today, but I am going to the gym right now, this evening. Didn't work out to yesterday, I'm working today, out today. Anywho, doesn't matter. Anywho, um, yesterday I got up, hung out with Tanya, and then we watched Jumanji, the second movie, and then from there... Her and I went up to Rob's office and she drops me off and then went and worked for digital media that is known as Lethia Digital Media. When I worked with the the digital media known as Lethia Digital Media, I went to a place, town, I think it's called Kent. Yeah, Kent, Washington. Went up to Kent. Oh, I went to Kent and uh, basically video camera work, more or less. Uh, I did PA stuff, so I helped with doing camera B-roll. So Rob had me use my phone and basically walk around to 15 minutes, sorry, 15 second increments of videos of people talking, people doing nope stuff on walls a little bit of people as they were worshiping um and a couple other things and all the while i'm listening to the worship singing along a little, little bit as rob's doing the main camera feed and shaley doing her videography i basically was the packing meal as well i helped with carrying shaley's spat pack and help Rob with setting up and tear down and help bring things from the truck to the hotel room and basically did whatever they needed more or less and I had a blast. Had a lot of fun doing it. It was a great learning experience being their PA. I think it's called personal assistant. I think that's what a PA means. But uh, that was a lot of fun, enjoyed it. And then uh, came home and been hanging out with Tanya for the rest of today. It was about a, it was an overnight trip basically to Kent from here in Lacey. And all the while, this event that I was a part of was about addressing issues within the church and within the world. Some of them, the issues, the main two subjects, were talking about racial issues between racism and how different cultures work and creating a place where people can just talk. And I'll be attaching, uh, Well, at least I'll try to attach my uh, uh, the links for the videos that I, that I of the event basically to summarize what's really going on. I'll have to figure out how that works and how to do it. Anywho, um, it was just a blast, and I had a lot of fun doing it. And then the other thing we talked about is the difference the difference between the different generations and how that communication barrier is a major problem. Truth be told. I didn't really learn much. What I did learn is how much the church is hurting and why young folk are walking away from the church, like, my, like myself at one point, because of the fact that the older generations don't know how to reach out or talk to the younger generations. I also learned a little bit more about racism and how bad it really is, especially with the whole Floyd situation, and learned how corrupt the world really is and even the church and the biggest thing that i got out of the entire event is how as a, the church we need to set aside our belief systems we need to set aside our differences and become one church and i really resonate with it personal opinions about us having baptist churches and lutheran churches all these different churches and all their domination truth is the word is the word there's only one word and yet we have all these different interpretations of what the word says and the truth is that's really sad how is it that there's only one word the word of god and yet we have taken that very word and somehow created all these different churches and belief systems that don't really associate with each other unless someone creates a safe spot or safe place to do that and we address that issue at this conference 
and I was greatly moved by it. I would love to see at one point the church not just be the Nazarene church or the Baptist church or the Assembly of God church, but eventually at some point all the churches become one instead of all these different churches. Because that's, that's the real church in my opinion. Honestly, I got a better idea of what my purpose is. I got a decent view of what God wants me to do next in my life. And the truth is, I'm thinking more and more that God wants me to be a PA for the time being. And whatever actual job comes my way, I'm going to take it. If that is God's will for me to do that, he'll make it happen. And that if it's his will for me to be home, do studies, I don't know how he's going to do it. Go, yeah, the right... Go! Yeah, the right away, dummy. Anywho. <laughs> Some guy at his turn stopped before he turned. It was a right, right turn and he didn't take it. <sighs> Probably shouldn't call him dummy. Anywho. Um, I'm currently going to the gym right now, and someone just said, fuck you, out of nowhere. I should yell and say I love him. I don't know who they're saying that to, but they're saying to someone. <laughs> Jesus loves you! <laughs> I had to. Anywho, I mean... I'd rather say that than say, F you too. I can't even see them. Hope they don't come over and try to beat me up because I said that. Oh well. <laughs> Anywho, I'm um, gonna get going, I'm almost to the gym. But I just wanna take this time to just address what I've learned and kinda share my experience. And I also give a, hold myself accountable to the fact that I didn't go to the gym. So, I'm going to the gym tonight. As basically self-punishment for not going yesterday morning when I should have or this morning so anyway thank you for watching this kind of brief update in sections and uh I'm gonna get going do some workouts go home cuddle with my fiance and go to bed and go to church tomorrow and praise God with my church family and spend time with my church family and get ready to face next week so praise God have a good night got done with the gym now I'm going to uh, go for a walk for a little bit but while I do so I'm going to continue my discussion for earlier actually you know what no oh, we talked about it I just had the weirdest thing happen to me so here I am working out using the abdominal machine that I really like doing three sets of 20 rep petition and while doing so, I had something interesting occur. So here I am, just working out my own business, and this kid gets on a stair climbing machine and pulls out his PS5. Sorry, Switch, not PS5. And he freaking used it while he was working out on it. I'm just like, either A, he is crazy, or two, he's a genius. But while I was watching this kid play on his his switch while on the treadmill, he's having a lot of faith that he's going to be able to play that video game, whatever he was playing, and do that at the same time. I'm just like, that kid's crazy. But he must have had faith that he was not going to fall over. And that's getting at us sometimes in life where we're like, yeah, I'm going to do this thing that God's called me to do, but at the same time, I'm going to be stupid and do something I probably know I probably shouldn't do. And we do it anyway, despite it. And I laugh because I, I, I don't know what the outcome was for the kid. I, I'm not there, I'm actually walking, so I don't know if he's gonna follow or any of that. But if he does, I hope he learns playing video games or working out is not exactly the best idea. Probably not the smartest one either. That's all I have to say on the matter, but I've been just blessed the past day. I really. I really needed to get out of town and just just spend some time with Rob and Shaylee and just enjoy just their presence. And like I had this revelation I didn't talk about earlier, but it kind of occurred to me. I have a friend, or sorry, ex-friend, who literally left our church because he felt like 
the church wasn't growing fast enough. It wasn't um, being the church that he wanted it to be or what he felt that God wanted it to be. And truth is, faith takes time. Church growing takes time. Anything and everything takes time. And God doesn't work on, you know, human time. He just, he doesn't. And for us to, you know, want to force the church to change and grow, that's preposterous and crazy talk. Just absolute nuts crazy talk. But anywho, enough on that. I'm just grateful that I got to spend time with them and learn what I've learned this weekend and rediscover my love of being a PA. I did a, I was a PA before when I was younger, about a year ago or so, and I enjoyed it. It just had the time, you know, I was living with my sister and my basically my sister basically wanted me to take care of myself and take care of my own bills and everything. And so I looked into being into a PA and I enjoyed the work. I just financially could not be a PA and work a full-time job and they need someone to be on call I couldn't do that but with the life that I have now with my fiance now I can be an on call and do it and actually enjoy it and make a little bit, bit, bit of money while I'm doing it so I could take care of my small little bills like I don't know my phone bill thing is I trust God and if this is God's will he'll he'll make a way he'll give opportunities for me to continue doing it being a PA till then I'm just gonna have to trust God